Hey all here at OS Reviews. In the past, we've checked out a number of novelty gadgets which are inspired by sci-fi and steampunk design, like this cool little speaker. And we've also seen other interesting night lights and LED lights, like the Moonlight, which has been pretty popular recently. Well, this product today is kind of at the intersection of those things, as it takes the popular Moonlight as a basis and then adds this mechanical-looking, steampunk, almost optical, alien-like leg onto the bottom into almost an art piece of sorts. Of course, whether or not you like this is going to be up to personal preference, but I think it's pretty cool, especially with all the tiny mechanical details going on. The color temperature of the moon can also be changed to be more white, more yellowish, and you can see that it can overall change the way that it looks. Now, the interesting thing about this one as well is it's not really fully assembled. It's kind of like a Lego product where you have to put some of these pieces together yourself. They have a difficulty ranking, so all of their products on this store is actually things that you can DIY and kind of build collaboratively, but it does take up to four to six hours to combine all of the 1,061 pieces together. So this is definitely not a product for instant gratification. Overall eco-friendly, made out of stainless steel, iron, and copper. Here are again some of the other products that they have. They're all really intricate and interesting. Different number of pieces can be easier to assemble versus more complicated, and they can all come with lighting, accessories, LEDs that make them kind of stand out a little bit more. So here is a wasp design that is using the other style of the moon. The first box, which is just the moonlight, it can be recharged using the barrel plug and then you can tap on it to turn it on and off. Has a rechargeable battery, comes with its own cable. Pretty standard stuff. These moonlights you can easily find on Amazon, which already is pretty elegant, I would say. Uh, but again, the real fun stuff, of course, is contained in this separate box here, uh, which is made out of metal and then just says mechanical octopus along with a of course detailed user guide that is printed in color tells us how to actually turn it on and off connect everything together it looks like there are even additional small LEDs on the base aside from the moon which it's clamping using its claw but I am a little bit intimidated as someone that doesn't have a ton of experience with DIY and the fact that this has again over a thousand pieces but it should be still a fun challenge again if you enjoy puzzles things like that to put together right I almost do wish that maybe they could sell a fully assembled version. I know for enthusiasts that definitely defeats the purpose and fun, but uh, for folks that want more instant gratification, that should be, I think, maybe an option they can consider. Uh, but it is what it is. So anyways, in here we have, of course, all of the parts, and they also do give you uh, the screwdriver included, so you don't need anything extra to put it together. And then all the parts are in this little extra pouch, which is quite small when it's compressed together. Uh, but again, it will become the octopus once everything is fully extended. And it is pretty nicely wrapped up, but again, in these uh, layers and uh, numbered guides. So you can align the steps using the instructions one at a time and see how you want to put it together. And again, all of these tiny little intricate details, but a pretty scary looking number of screws, as you can see there, clearly a lot of attention to detail. A quick jump cut, now with eight of the legs of the spider completed, and I have to say that this process is definitely one of the most time consuming out of the build, because again, all of these tiny chains have to link up one at a time, and this entire process took me a couple of hours to complete. The result is beautiful and intricate, but again, this is one part that I do wish maybe they could have used larger chains to connect, uh, and that would have made the process a little faster to build, but like I said, if you are an enthusiast enjoying this process, it can feel pretty relaxing, but just as a warning, does take time. Another jump cut later, and voila, here is the finished product. And this actually took another hour or two to fully put together, but at least now here's the finished form. Although we just haven't inserted the moon into the claws here just yet, but all of the other details we can see can now be fully appreciated. So all of these tiny gears onto the hands, and they are things that you can loosen up in terms of their movement. Thanks to all these metal plates and gears that we have attached. So it really is quite an interesting looking object. Definitely is a conversation starter for sure, as you are placing it onto a desk. The other part about the additional LED lamp is essentially just this tiny little accent here, uh, which has a cell-based battery inside that shines red when you tighten it. The moon itself, as you can see when turned on, is quite convincing, like other moonlights we've seen in the past. The colors can also be changed if I tap on the button there once. This is a more orange color versus the more white light with the lamp attached onto it, though you have to eventually remove that sphere when you are actually trying to go and charge it up. 
definitely a very imaginative uh, design and approach they've gone for here. And in terms of the legs, what I will say though is because of the moonlight, it tends to kind of weigh it down a bit it's going to end up looking more flat in terms of the profile rather than taller. So it's going to take up a little bit more surface area on a desk uh, as a result, but still is looking incredibly cool, resembling the pictures, I would say, to a pretty good extent. Particularly, it really is all of these metal gears and links which catches the light that just makes it look even more interesting. So if you are into this steampunk aesthetic, then definitely I think this is uh, kind of a worthwhile build. If you're looking for just an interesting gadget, an interesting conversation starter, this is going to be a very neat idea as far as night lights and mood lamps are concerned. And here's just a final close-up view at the build now that we have the light turned on. That's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. That's been the Mechanical Octopus Moonlight.